know, just friends and welcome back to a different Soviet chess set review on my YouTube channel. This time I will make a short review on uh, not one but two Latvian Mordovian chess sets. Well, maybe a lot of people will get, get confused because uh, some of them they are referring to this chess set as Latvian, some of, people, some of the people are referring to this uh, chess set as Mordovian chess set, but um, in fact the story is very interesting. Um, um, a member of the community has found out that a lot of pictures with this type of chess set was used in Latvia during the Soviet period. Uh, but also some information that were gathered uh, strictly indicates that this chess set was produced in Mordovia, which is basically an autonomous region from the Russian Federation. I don't know if this was the case also during the Soviet Union. But as you can see, some of the people are uh, referring to this chess set as Latvian, some of the people are referring as Mordovian. So let's say that this chess set is Latvian Mordovian, so it will be much easier for everybody. Um, basically, the pattern has appeared first in the 1930s, if I am not mistaken, and a lot of infos regarding this or different uh, Soviet chess sets you can find on the Czech Grau uh, website, which is called the Soviet chessets.com. So, I, if you love Soviet chess sets, you must visit that website. It's like a, a dex of Soviet chess sets. I was very fortunate that in the last year I was, be, I was able to buy two Latvian Moldovian chess sets that I added to my collection. This is the first one that I was able to buy from Bucharest, uh, the capital of Romania, for about 10 US dollars. Yes, you heard it right. This basically was a steal. Uh, and this is basically the box, the folder model board of the chess set, which, yeah, as you can see, it looks very damaged. But the inside of the box, it looks quite okay. And you can see here the stamp, which is dated from 1964. 1964 sorry. Uh, after some discussion with the previous owner, he told me that this chess set has, uh, was kept in the cellar for about 20 years. So that strictly indicates why the folder model board is in such a ba bad shape. But the set it looks almost impeccable and the pieces were very well protected inside the folder model board. Even though you can see I have two pieces, one white and one black phone. The white phone, let's say it's a red telling color, which have the color broken or let's say damaged. But except that, the chest that it's in a very nice and impeccable condition. Uh, I can say for sure that this is one of my favorite Soviet chests that I have in my collection and this is because of the quality, it's quite impressive. Uh, the quality doesn't compare with other Soviet chests, at least the one that I own. Um, because the differences in carving between the chest pieces are very few. You cannot spot any differences. I have mentioned before, uh, like I said, uh, in the previous video regarding the Voromets pattern that most of the Soviet chess sets uh, are, sorry, uh, are suffering uh, during years and the base of the chess pieces is starting to get over. Well, this is not the case. I have two sets of the Latvian Motovian and both of them are impeccable. I didn't see any oval base of any chess pieces. Uh, as a short review of the chess pieces, the king uh, height is about 10 centimeters. Um, one of the biggest drawbacks of the Latin Moldovan chess set is that they don't have any weight, so they are very light, but uh, except that, which is the only drawback that I can see, they are feeling quite stable. Even they have large bases uh, and the center of uh, mass somehow it's quite even balanced, so you cannot uh, let's say, easy uh, uh, overthrown one piece or something like that. Um, the chess board that you see is not original, it's not Soviet, it's, it's uh, just an uh, Henri Italian board, which basically blends very well with the Latvian Moldovian chess that I have here. Uh, like I said, there are very few visible differences in carving, even though, as you can see, the knights are built just for one from one wood piece and 
they look impeccable. You cannot spot any differences. They are very, very few. And you just need to analyze the chess pieces to, 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 to see some imperfections. And, well, this is not the case for most of the Soviet chess sets. If you have a Baku chess set, if you have a Grandmaster chess set, if you have a Vodnik floor uh, chess set, you can spot very easy some differences in carving, especially at the mats. So, like I said, this is one of my favorite chess sets. It's, it's very nice to play with them. They are feeling quite stable, so uh, it's a chess set that you must have if you love Soviet chess sets. And everybody knows the uh, Netflix series Queen Gambit. And uh, the Dresden Moldovan chess set was the first uh, set that was documented and was seen or shared by the community was from the 1940s. And uh, the production of this pattern has stopped only in the 1980s, up before the Soviet Union has collapsed. Has collapsed. So, uh, as an example, in the Netflix series, Queen's Gambit, you can see a uh, Latvian Moldovian chess set, but basically it's from the 80s, which is not a uh, period correct with the series, with the Queen's Gambit movie. Of course, because everybody knows the Netflix series, Queen's Gambit, I cannot make some reference regarding the chess clock that was used in the movie, which is basically a Yanta Bekelit uh, case chess clock. And the mechanism and the inside of the clock is very similar with the other one from the Voronets chess set that I presented. Uh, even though the chess clock is not uh, period correct with the Latvian Mordovian chess set that I own because the Latvian are from the 50s and this chess clock is manufactured in the, during the 60s and basically this exact model is manufactured in 67 because all Soviet chess clocks have a uh, uh, date stamp and the uh, mechanism inside, except those that are pre World War II. So, uh, even though they are not period correct, this is basically a Queen's Gambit uh, match. So, the Latvian Mordovian with the Yantar Bekelit case. So, I would like to thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see us next time with a different Soviet chess set that I will review on my channel.